Hey everyone, this is Brian with Unearned Inc. I wanted to take everyone through kind of a new tool I'm using, um, just to kind of give a little bit of background here about, you know, each Sunday I go through about 100 stocks that I analyze on Sunday night to get ready for, you know, what investments or what trades I'm going to be making during the week. Uh, and I've been doing that for a number of years, just using a big whiteboard. The challenge with that is, is always, you know, you get into this habit where, you're, you're watching a stock over several weeks, and then some fall off, some new ones come back on. You know, you may read an article, you may see um, a video or, or a story on TV, and you say, okay, well, let me track that stock. And so you start having to kind of track or, or move stocks over, ticker symbols over from week to week. And at some point, it just becomes unmanageable where, you know, you're, you're holding on to a stock for three, four, five weeks, deciding if you're going to get into that trade or make an investment or what have you. So I've kind of moved away from the whiteboard and thought, you know, maybe there's a better system. And obviously there's tons of trading software and, and watch lists and things that you can do uh, through various brokerages and dedicated tools. Uh, but what I'm using here is a tool called Monday, monday.com. Uh, and this is actually free. Uh, Monday's used by, it's, it's enterprise software used by a lot of Fortune 500 companies, uh, for just workflow management and managing projects and tasks. Uh, but I'm actually using it here, uh, their Kanban board, if you're familiar with project management, I'm using their Kanban board uh, view to actually track the stock tickers that I'm interested in. And so I, I've renamed or labeled, relabeled kind of some of their category headers where I have, you know, a category called watching, uh, I have things called buy soon, buy now, hold, sell soon, and sell. Uh, and this allows me to just, you know, week over week track kind of what's happening. And what's nice about the Kanban view here in, in Monday, you know, you can do things like you can drag things uh, over to different different columns. Uh, you can rearrange things. Like let's, for, for example, say, well, things that are basing means they may be hitting a level of support. So I may want to take Rivian and put it up here. I may want to take Whirlpool and put it up there, maybe put all the trending downs at the bottom. So you kind of do some neat things like that. But again, this is really a project management tool that I'm, I'm repurposing. Again, it's a free account, a free account, so uh, I'm not really paying for it. And I, I've, I'm going to experiment with this over the next couple of weeks. I may even start taking some screen grabs so that people can start see, seeing some of the stocks that I'm tracking or looking at. Uh, and why I'm looking at it from either, again, long-term dividend investing strategy um, or I'm making a quick trade uh, to do some stuff, you know, from that, that perspective. And the way I've set this up, so, you know, besides the columns, if you go over here to this main table, this shows exactly how a lot of these things are set up where I have my, stick, my ticker symbol. I tried to rename some of this, like this is a project, but really it's, it's stock tickers is what I have here in the project field. Um, I think action used to be called status, so I changed that to action, and then there's a trend. Uh, but like if you go here into action, right, so I've set up some new labels where I have watching means, you know, I'm looking at it, but I really don't see any good patterns, uh, but maybe I heard about the stock and so I'm keeping it just on the watch list. So I have watching. Buy soon may, may mean, you know, it, it's entering a level that is, is appropriate for me to kind of make a trade or make an investment. And then obviously buy, buy now is like, hey, if I have money tomorrow, start buying that, that stock immediately or accumulating uh, that stock as soon as possible. And then hold, sell soon, and sell. And then on the trending side, I've come up with a few um, different categories here. Uh, high, medium, low, these were kind of left over from when you first set up your Monday account, but I, these are deactivated, but you can actually delete the labels. I just haven't done that. But I have trending up, so, you know, it's moving in an upward direction. I have a gap up. This is, you know, more appropriate. Like overnight, if you come in the morning and you see a clear gap where it's just kind of, you know, went to the moon. Uh, peaking means it, it looks like it's starting to kind of hit an area of resistance. Rolling over is where, you know, it's hit that resistance and now starting to kind of roll over. And then we have trending down, a gap down, you know, typically around earnings. You'll see there's a couple of ones I want to highlight this week where we've seen some major gap downs. Like Live Nation was a perfect example uh, with the DOJ request there for a monopoly. 
Um, you see kind of a gap down there. And then we have basing where it may be forming some support. So these are all custom labels. You may say, oh, I don't want to have a gap up and a gap down. You may want to keep it trending up, trending down. Like you can name these whatever you want to name them. Um, obviously, you can do this in Excel or, you know, other tools. But the fact that, uh, oh, and then the other thing here, uh, you have some notes here where I, I have, you know, separate tracking software I'm using, uh, TradingView or some of the other uh, tools you may have. And you can say, okay, it's well below the 200 SMA. It's right above it. Uh, you know, across the 20, whatever it may be, you can kind of put your notes there. But 90% of the time now, you know, when I come in, I'm looking at this. So when I wake up in the morning or that Monday, I can go right to, okay, keep track of these buy soons. What's happening? Did they drop further? And did they turn into a buy now? And then the buy now is that I'm not having to remember overnight or during the week, okay, what were the stocks that I really wanted to kind of start buying? Um, trending up, these are, these are getting ready to move, so I better start accumulating as, as quickly as possible. Um, obviously, AT&T, uh, you know, they had a slight dip back into the 16s. But I think long term, you know, you're, you're still paying the dividend. You have different philosophies on whether it's owning that stock just to pay the dividends. Right now, I, I do own shares because uh, I do like the dividend on that one. And then VG, uh, you know I'm big on some of the REITs, and this is the one that owns a lot of the properties in Las Vegas. Uh, and that seems like it was trending up, so I kind of put the trending up label. But it's just a nice, clean way, visual way to kind of keep track of everything that's going on. Um, and you can do it all in the cloud, obviously, so I don't have to worry about, um, you know, my whiteboard or if I'm on another computer. Monday obviously has an app for both iPhone and Samsung, so if you want to kind of look at this on your app, you can, you can do that way as well. Uh, but hopefully you find some value in that. It is, again, free software. And it's just uh, an idea of if you're looking for a way to kind of track the stocks and not have a notepad or a whiteboard, this is one way that you can do that. So I'll stop it here. Uh, but, yeah, take a look at it. It's a free account if you want to set up a similar uh, Kanban board to track your stock. But we'd love to kind of hear your opinions on uh, what other tools you may be using to, to do this.